All right, first. Ah! It's warm in here. It's actually <laughs> nice. To, like it's our yeah. first time yeah. here. Like, look at this. All it's right. nice. I can even show you guys outside. Maybe we'll do some exploring if the fish aren't biting. But uh, right now it's very windy. Very deep snow. See that? Look at that right there. That's beautiful. We got the shitter. <laughs> so we're just going to set up now. Get all our stuff ready and then get some minnows on some jigs and catch some big boys. The slot size here is like over 18 inches so you can only keep in big ones. I think it's because they stock the lake so they don't want, want you taking like the little fish. So we're going to be targeting big boys here. Okay we got a barbecue that's amazing. set up right now. I'm just jigging down at the bottom. What are these lures called? Euro tackle what? Uh Z Vibe. Z Vibe? Z Euro tackle Z Vibe lure. Z Vibe. That's my first time using it. It's good for panfish. Oh something's coming to grab me. Oh I just missed the bite. I bet you they're a little perch down there. Oh they're gone, whatever that was. I spooked them. I'm using a, just a lighter rod right now. It's so much easier to feel the bite. Especially for panfish. Alright, so I got a minnow and a, like a little chartreuse greenish jig behind me. And now I'm just going to put a, a minnow on the orange and chartreuse. Let's see if this brings it in. In the mouth, out the gill. Right here. Oh yeah. There's a big boy. Uh, off the bottom. Think it's a walleye? Yes, sir. Bring him up. Beautiful. On the first on one. The, on the jig. On the jigging wrap. I don't know if I can show this lure right now. <laughs> not a not an eater for sure. Not no. Even, not even gonna measure him. No. But uh, he just came in. Oh, there you go. They're biting. Oh, he's so stiff, dude. He's so stiff. He is so stiff. I want to take a little. Smile, just take a picture. Oh, buddy, he is stiff. All right, let him back. Let's catch some more. They're biting. Oh. Oh. I can't figure out this way down the hole. I mean, I got to know. Someone just chased me right down. Here we go. I'm going to get smacked. I'm going to get smacked right away, right here, Jess. Oh, I'm marking big things here, Jess. They're in now. Alright, first fish was caught on this Acme jigging wrap. And you see these little wings here. When you jig down, they open up. And does, it, does it have a flutter motion? Yeah. Or just kind of just glides like no, this. No, it, if you pound it on the spot, it'll open and close repeatedly. Yeah, but you guys get the idea. So that's one. That's winning so far. Yeah, but the, these walleye, they like something moving, right? So 
Yeah, right now they do. But that's but that's the type of things they eat. They eat things that moves and tries to get away with them, right? No, well, so what were you doing with that with that uh, jig? Normally, whatever. normally the dead stick is the best, like proven lure for walleye. But I guess I know I heard that too. I guess because we're on a cold front right now, and it's just they're they're not hitting a dead stick. I got rigged up three minnows. Three hooks on a dead stick, and uh, nothing's come to take it at all. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, perch! Yay! Why has he got two? Oh my! I don't know. Where'd that other one come from? Oh, the one I dropped. Oh, he's just picked it up, it up the up bottom. The floor. There you go, first perch. That's just down there. That's about eight inches. All right, first. Ah! First perch. Ah! Nice. I did. Did I just put a little orange jig with a gall minnow? And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna use. Probably put tube, some tube jigs on here. But the reason for that is I'm just going for perch right now. And then later on in the evening, we're going to go for walleye. Here's a quick tip. Uh, when you're jigging and you see a fish show up on the grass, don't panic too much and change the presentation or the way you're jigging. The way you're jigging is what brought the fish in. So don't pause it right away. Just try to keep as consistent as you can and see if it'll come in and hit it. A lot of the times people when they see a, a fish show up on the graph they'll stop or they'll try to do something different and then it'll spook away the fish or the fish won't be interested in it because it came for one motion and now you're stopping that motion. So I got a little action with that rig so now I just have a little orange jig and a white tube jig and put a little orange double on. Just hit the hook. Why not? So, we caught nothing for the past few hours. Just that walleye and that perch. We got a few bites. And now we're just cooking the chicken. And guess who's got the chip? fish aren't biting a good thing to do especially if you're doing an overnighter like this is to get some food in your belly and plan for the evening bite just some chicken breast rice teriyaki sauce that's it olive oil salt look at that you got a little stir fry with no vegetables <laughs> <laughs> no it's vegetables in, in the rice oh yeah, yeah yeah if you look closely you'll find yeah. a little carrot yeah, yeah who's uncle ben <laughs> setting up and uh, hopefully we get a nice big boy or an eater. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. A nice 25 inch, eh? That'd be freaking Straight nice. to the pan. Straight to the pan. Alright, what do you got? I don't feel big. You make it in there? Should we grab it or you got it yourself? Let me know. I don't know. know. I don't want the transducers in there. Oh yeah. I think he's an eater. Let's measure him, let's measure him. If you look at that, <laughs> I mean that's a nice size. Let's see. Ah, ah. What is it? Really? Only 15? Is it? Yeah. From end to tail? Yeah. Two inches short. Well, beautiful <laughs> fish. Heavy. Nice. 
Yeah. It's insane. Damn. That's still nice, though. That's the biggest one to date. Look how that muscular, right? Do you feel that? Like, poke it, poke it, feel the muscle, mm. the meat on it. It's all meat right there. This was what I was using. Just an orange and gold spoon. The minnow head. Oh, the minnow head? Worked out great, yeah. Worked nice. out really great. Had that like little rooster tail too. Nice. Dropped in one of these bait clouds. A walleye attractant. Just to see if it's gonna work. Now since I put it in, I haven't really got anything. So, we'll see if that does anything. What it does when it goes in there, it dissolves like a bath bomb. And then all the what it what even like floats on top all the all the food yeah it's, it's like, like fish food, food. yeah fish. and it just makes like a cloud going up and it'll track fish from far and it, it it makes sense but it won't work all the time you got a little button shot on yeah like a metal head button shot and it's glow in the dark and it rattles like this so now nothing's been biting after that one fish so it, desperate no, times the, desperate the, measures try this so actually I gotta charge it. Gotta charge it with a light. It's 8 a.m. right now. Last night, nothing bit after that big one. There's fish like coming in, but nothing was nothing was biting. So this morning, I just put on a spoon and I caught a little perch. So I think now the perch are biting, but we're gonna see if a wall I can bite. Oh yeah! Oh, it's jumbo. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really big, man. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's a keeper oh, to have. Oh, yeah. Man. Give me the give me the beat stick, bud. Because he needs to stop. And his, Oh, he got jacked. What did you catch him on? I can't tell you. <laughs> no, same lure that I caught the walleye on yesterday. Wow, it's hot, eh? I, and, and I was just... just Slowly just popping it up and let it flutter down only about six inches up and down and I just came in and just smoked it and Again Good stuff. without a fish finder too Good stuff Just randomly or you heard it? Like, what no, it? I saw it just jiggling on the bottom something choked it Oh, oh yeah. Wally Get him just, get him just quick Juicy. Nice. We'll keep this guy because that's uh, not within the slot size. Um, but like any other lake, this would be the, the best possible eater. Like, dude, 16 inches thick. And he's, yeah. they're all spawning now too. Their bellies are nice and beautiful. It feels so meat. You can just feel the meat on it. It just, <laughs> it just makes me sad to <laughs> have to put this guy back. You're lucky, buddy. You're lucky. Oh, oh he jumped right in there. He's like, Stop talking about eating me. No. Nope. There you go. On the dead stick. We're gonna go out, rig up some lures for some pike, some big walleye, dig some holes, and walk around a bit. to walk. It's really hard packed down so I'm almost floating above it.
Uh, I mean, I guess we could keep them. Made a little bit of sauce. Just grab some dead minnows. Put some salt in it, and now I'm gonna dump it down the hole to see if some fish will come in. So we just brought some perch from home, and I wanted to try something new. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the perch, I'm putting in the flour, dumping in an egg, and then I'm gonna bring it to some coconut flakes, press it in so it sticks, shake whatever's off, and lay them down just like that. So once I finish that, I'm gonna throw it in the fryer, and hopefully this comes out good. I've never done this before, but we'll see. Curler or what? Dude. That's dessert. That's dessert right there. Coconut right, perch. Coconut. Try it so out, man. Good. Right when we were cooking, we caught one more walleye. And then after that, we got nothing. This is our last night. The plan is now, I mean, last night we didn't have like any bites at all. So, we're going to, I don't know, maybe turn our lights off in the cabin. Make it a little bit darker in there. I use some spoons, some noisy spoons to track them in. And uh, hope for the best. I mean, guys just say, you know, minnows, minnows, minnows. And then, you know, we've, we've actually caught more on like spoons, jigging wraps, and, you know, a couple on dead stick minnows. But the key is you just gotta keep trying. Gotta keep trying different lures, different tactics. If that was working for you, it's good to, you know, it's good for your own mindset i guess to change it up a bit right so we're gonna see what happens it's dark now this is a glow in the dark jig that little white tube jig there with a middle head right there just to give some liveness or deadness, whatever. And, and if, so, of course, when I pull up, it's like something's there. That's insane. These, these wall are just coming right up to our lures or whatever it is, staring at it and going back down. And then just like every like 10 minutes, it just keeps happening. It's so weird. We're trying everything. Just Maybe they're just not biting. Maybe it's because of the wind. I don't know. You're always looking for something to blame. Got to keep fishing. Still nothing bit. Fish were coming in, but we still don't even know if they're eating walleye. They could have been suckers. So we're just gonna maybe jig right now for anything. Jumbo perch, walleye. We still didn't get that legal size to take home, but it's just fishing. Did you just lose it? And that right there, the lost fish. And I lost fish faith. <laughs> okay. Wow. Maybe we'll actually eat yeah. this one. Beautiful hairy. Nice, it just had a little middle head right on this. That's it. There you go. First, this is actually my first. That's your first hair? Yeah. Oh, big one. Yeah. It's a big one. Yeah, it is big. That's a nice fish. Well, I'm gonna take that one. 
Yeah. No, how are we gonna cook it? We're gonna fillet it? Like, can, can you fillet it or just scale it? Yeah, we fillet it. I don't know. Very nice. Oh, buddy. That wow. Might be legal. Might be legal. Look at that. Nice, nice, dude. Look at the rig, eh? Let's let's just get a look at this rig on what he caught it on. <laughs> Amazing. Hanging from the ceiling. Simple stuff. Don't you dare drop that guy. Oh, 16 and a half, two right. inches short. Got to put him back. Thank you. Nice. Got another perch. There you go. Another one. So the bite stopped inside a little bit, so we're just gonna go for a little walk right now because we're getting a little bored. And it's kind of rough, like sitting down for so long. We're gonna drill some holes, hole hop, explore a little, and see if we can get more walleye bites, even some jumbo perch before we get home in a couple hours. <laughs> point of this is we drill a line of these holes you want to get your fish finder if you have one and see I'm already marking fish if you're not marking maybe in 15 20 minutes you switch to the next one and the next one and it ups your chances especially when they're not biting at your hut we didn't catch our big walleye that's legal to take so we're not cooking up any of that but we got some perch we got a nice smelt this morning. Uh, I think we're happy with that. You know, what made us successful today was, or this weekend I guess, was changing lures, um, constantly planning new things, new strategies, new tactics, changing it up a bit, see what these fish like. Uh, I think that's what you just have to do if you want to be successful. You're not always going to catch. I mean, we caught about like seven walleye, but you know, we're trying to target a big one. Sometimes you can't always get one. I mean, they're all good eater sizes, but on this lake, you know, I just can't take them. So it is what it is. We caught some fish and now we're ready to go home and plan for the next trip. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. <laughs>